Vice President Yemi Shimba just stressed the need for transparency and accountability in the procurement processes for the overall growth of the nation. The Vice President made the call at the launch of the Sustainable Procurement Environmental and Social Standards Enhancement Projects in Abuja. Helen Osamede Aiken reports. Procurement touches on every sector of the economy, both public and private sector. Huge amounts of resources go into procurement activities and this pushes up the cost of governance and in the process encourages some form of financial waste. The Nigerian procurement system requires strengthening through the entrenchment of transparency and accountability at all levels of government to conform with the world standards. To produce competent and intellectual sound procurement professionals, the government has launched the Sustainable Procurement, Environment and Social Standard Enhancement Projects. The project is to raise homegrown experts in procurement. With an ERGP in view, we must get procurement, environmental and social safeguards right in Nigeria. If we are to achieve the objectives of the two growth plans and make progress, in reducing the high cost of governance in the public sector, as well as reducing human contribution to environmental degradation. It will afford us the opportunity of practicing what we preach about the triple helix, the ability of the private sector, the government, and the acad academia to come together to address societal problems and issues and to create uh, the facility to meet our national skills gap in critical elements of our national economy. About 60% of the resources for the project will be dedicated to procurement, while environmental and social standard enhancements will be allocated 16%. Sanctions may amount to run costs for the project. Originally designed to be a four year project to commence in 2020 and run until 2024. However, Due to several delays, not least of which was the COVID-19 pandemic, we lost about a year and a half. Uh, I mean, applicable in America, in part of it will be here, but it may not completely 100% suit our own need here. So we thought, let us put it in the university so that it will be sustainable. Because without the government, federal government uh, uh, funding those programs, the universities will be in a position to continue to run the program on themselves. The project will domicile in six universities across the geopolitical zones of the country. Helen Osamede Ekins. TVC News.